Good morning, good morning, happy Saturdays to all of you. Uh, I'm glad you guys are here. By the way, so as you guys saw on the title, it's called, I'm, I changed the title for today. I was planning on doing something else, but I realized we are playing with the Commandante. So we have a lot of inside joke in this channel. So whenever I playing with something fancy like this, you know, we call each other hipster, okay? So we are, we are doing something fun. It's gonna be hipster Saturday edition. Uh, we got, so finally, I, I got a Commandante hand grind. I'm gonna big shout out to Jordan from Texas. And he, he was nice enough to let me borrow his grinder for, you know, few days. I can't wait to try this on, you know, try this on this channel. We're gonna do some, we're gonna make some coffee on a live session, okay? So uh, maybe tomorrow, we're gonna be a big show tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna compare Commandante with Easy Presso J Max. So let's do that side by side comparison tomorrow. And also I'm gonna be, okay, hipster. If you're a hipster, I know it's a, the funny words though, okay? Uh, you need to have some kind of fellow coffee products, fellow products. So this one is a, a fellow Joy a cup here. Fancy, okay, extremely fancy, slick design, very minimalistic, matte black, man, awesome. And also this is the their uh, three ounce cup. It's great for espresso or like macchiato, really tiny drinks, this is really good. So we are going to make some drink with this, this morning. Again, I'm gonna big shout out to Fellow. By the way, uh, make sure if you guys are love, buy, planning on buying Fellow products, make sure you use my code, okay, HUN10, okay? I'm gonna pay, uh, put the link down below, their website as well. Whenever you buy a HUN10 code on Fellow products, I get a little tiny commission off from it, so it's gonna be support the channel, you know what? I mean, I think that's the best way to, you know, support this channel. You don't have to send me anything. I know some of you do a uh, super chat or super sticker, even PayPal as well. Uh, so far we raised 600 and almost $60 so far for our next coffee, uh, coffee machine. So we are getting very close. Okay. So my plan is, again, I'm, I'm going to get a support from you guys for around thousand bucks. I'm going to match for another thousand for my own money. I'm trying to get a sponsorship for another thousand. So get about $3,000 uh, worth a uh, $3,000 coffee machine. Okay. So in that case, we are going to really compare entry level coffee machine versus uh, the high end machine. So let's find out. Okay. Let's find out how much better spending extra two, three thousand dollars on your setup. So, but anyway, uh, again, I'm going to big shout out to Jordan for this. Okay. And I'm gonna use it for a few times uh, this week and next week. You know what? I know some of you saw my video on Easy Press, so it's gonna be a really interesting video. So this morning I'm gonna be dialing in uh, very uh, medium roast coffee grind, very easy to dial in. Uh, medium roast from Good Brothers Coffee Espresso Blend. We're gonna do 18 gram on this one, and also I'm gonna time it. Okay. Let's time it how long it's gonna take grind 18 gram. I'm really excited to try this one out. Okay, so, okay, by the way, so I did try earlier this morning. Man, it's gonna be a big surprise, okay? Big surprise for you. So hopefully by, hopefully by tomorrow, you guys, hopefully I, I can give you guys a better, uh, kind of like better in, informed decision so you know what to purchase next time, okay? I'm gonna big shout out to Dane for super sticker there. So, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, you know what? So let's get going, okay? I'm gonna show you instead, okay? So right now I set at a number seven, okay? I, I got a seven click on this one. And I tried with the 10 clicks, didn't work out. So I'm gonna change the number seven, seven clicks. And I got a 18 gram here. I'm just gonna put it in. And after that, we are going to pull the shot. So we're gonna be doing a one to two ratio. Okay, and then I got my timer. So I'm gonna start it. So I, I wonder is, if you are Justin, you are watching, watch this, okay, Justin. I'm gonna start the timer. Here we go. So, so Marvin say one minute, okay. Anybody has 
guess. <laughs> okay, by the way, if you guys are looking for the espresso manual hand grinder, Justin say 65 seconds. John say 125. Okay. We are talking 18 gram here. Okay, here we go. Jose mentioned about the. Uh, okay, he's. Okay, Justin say. Uh, another Justin say 75. Fred, 60. Josh, 121. I'm at 103, one minute, and I got, I'm at 67 seconds right now. Maverick say go faster. Man. Can you guys see my forehead? I'm sweating. Minute and 25. <laughs> minute and 30. Still going. Man, okay. You know what, I wonder how many hipsters out there willing to spend almost two minutes on hand cranking. Okay, we are at 120 seconds, okay. Josh say 121. We are at two minutes and 10 seconds. Now you guys are all wrong, okay? Okay, we are getting close. Two minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, two minutes and 30. We're still going. Okay, two minutes and 35 seconds. Okay, two minutes and 35 seconds. So it's about 155 seconds for this. Two minutes and 35 seconds for 18 grand. <sighs> okay, so tomorrow morning, uh, we are going to do the same thing with Easy Press or J-Max, okay? Man, I'm telling you, my forearm is getting sore right now. Can you imagine doing that for like three friends, okay? Make three express for your buddies. I don't know, I don't know about that guys, okay. All right, so I'm just going to set the side these fancy cups here, hold on. I'm gonna heat up my cups. So let's pull the shot, okay? By the way, I'm, 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 I'm Burning up here, guys. I'm burning up. Okay. Okay, by the way, if you're uh, joining us for the first time, uh, I don't usually plan our daily live streaming. We always go spontaneously. So uh, make sure, uh, 22 of you right now watching us, make sure press like on your phone or your laptop. Okay, it's great for our ranking. Okay, just make sure. That's another way to support this channel. Okay. Man, okay, so again, if you are just joining us, took me 2 minutes and 35 seconds to grind uh, 18 gram. okay. I hope, because uh, hope, uh, hopefully we got the right number for that. So I'm at number 7 clicks, okay, number 7. All right, boy, I do need to take a little catch my breath here. Okay, I'm just gonna prepare the puck. Okay, I mean, again, the, there's not a lot of static issues. It's, it's really good. Oh, by the way, so this is my 3D dosing funnel. Fits perfectly, okay, it it's, works pretty good. I'm just gonna make sure to have everything in. The fact is I like the glass of it. Uh, I know. It's, I know they remod I think they're a newer model coming out. I think they made it with the plastic. Okay. Okay, even though I'm using the spouted, but I like to just a little bit of WDT tool to just groom the top 
little bit. Okay. I'm just going to do some little bit of distribution here. Okay. So we are ready to go. So we're going to do one to two ratio, 18 in and like 38, 36 to like 40 gram out. And it comes to shot time. I mean, as long as between like, you know, 25 and 35 seconds. But same time, just make sure trust to your taste. Because it is it, again, it's all of, I know some, we, we all have different tastes. So just make sure. Go by your taste. Okay. Yeah, let me show you guys a close up here. I mean, right now on our one o'clock. About 40 seconds there, a little longer shot, but I'm fine with that. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, so let's try this shot. Okay, that, yeah, I mean, it does look great. Very rich. But I think right now I'm in number seven, which means if that taste is a little bitter, uh, I need to change to maybe like, because, because I tried with the number 10 earlier this morning, it's really a bit uh, sour, which means under extracted. So this is number seven, okay? So next time, if all depends on the taste, and maybe good number is going to be around maybe eight. I can go with another click there. Number eight click, give us the better flavor. So it's again, so this is kind of like part of the dialing and process. Doesn't matter which grinder you are using. Uh, if you are using the manual grinder or you know built-in grinder or separate grinder, doesn't make any difference. It all depends on your taste. Cheers. Okay. Hmm. Hold on, it's not bad. Not bad at all. It is a little bit over extracted. Okay. So right now I'm in number seven. So if I change the number eight on Commandante, it's gonna be perfect. Okay, it's gonna be perfect. So anyway, so this is how, kind of like uh, how I dialing my coffee. The fact is, this coffee is still good, okay? By the way, uh, so yesterday I was making macchiata and I know some of you out there, not, I don't wanna say disagree with my macchiata method, there's a lot of different ways to macchiata, okay? The traditional way is a marking, okay? Which means just like uh, pull the great shot of espresso and just, just mark it with a tiny bit of uh, milk foam on the top, macchiata. For my, my version of macchiata was more like two ounces of espresso, maybe ounce of steamed milk on the top. And if you go to Starbucks, I don't know what they serve, but I usually get the caramel macchiata. They're great as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, make this. I got some leftover here. I'm gonna make something for my son. Okay, uh, he likes the, uh, he loves the uh, ice uh, latte with caramel. So the fact is my house, we never waste our coffee here. So even though it's a little over extracted, but we can always salvage by put Put milk and sugar fixes everything okay fixes everything and then we usually do two pumps for my son there hold on and then put some milk put some milk in it okay so the milk quality matters guys okay so this one is an organic milk 
by the how many people how many people are out there you can tell the difference between organic versus regular yeah let me know in the comment section too because I'd love to hear from you okay I'm just gonna put some milk and then just pull the shot okay uh, just like this so this is one of my favorite summer drink by the way my son just turned 18 a few days ago I'm gonna wish him happy birthday again 18 now so he he's actually legal so if I, I want to I can kick him out so here you go I'm just gonna have one sip wow pretty good okay Ian your coffee's ready anyway uh, so that's pretty much it for this morning so tomorrow morning we're gonna be comparing this one with uh, Easy Presso the J Max okay so let's pull the two shots one each and then let's find that okay I don't have to tell you guys Easy Presso uh, 18 gram grinds uh, took me about 35 to 40 seconds okay flat 35 to 40 this one two minutes and 35 seconds so it comes down to speed there's no comparison so which means we need to compare the grind quality tomorrow I'm gonna bring out my crude sifter okay and then let's find out the grind quality uh, which one gives you more uniformity okay and also uh, lastly let's compare the taste the, again the taste is very subjective but I mean, at least I can tell the difference between which is which. And hopefully, if it tastes about the same, and then if it tastes about the same and the grind quality is about the same, which means all, all only thing left is the speed, okay, of grinds. So let's talk about that as well. And then there's no X factor as well. Which one is more cooler, okay? Since today is a hipster's Saturday. So we're gonna try that tomorrow morning. Let's find out which ones look better. Comandante versus uh, Easy Presso, the J Max. That's the key, okay? Everybody buy coffee gear for whatever reason, okay? Some people like the functionality, some people like the way it's look, and also uh, how it fit into your kitchen as well. I mean, that's the big one. Is that too big or too small? Everyone has style, so. For me, I mean, I'm too old for that. I don't have no style in, in my kitchen. But yeah, I know some of you out there and a hipster like you guys. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, if you have any questions or comment, uh, let me know, okay? Now we are uh, 42 of you right now. Okay, 42 of you. Just make sure you press like. Uh, I'm looking at your questions. Here, let's see. Okay, make sure, you know, you, you got just uh, chit chat with our live chat, okay? We have great group of people. Uh, we have great community. So yeah, just have some fun. Share some ideas about how to make better coffee. And uh, let's see here. I mean, that's all we do. We, all, uh, we talk about coffee every single morning. Nothing else though, okay? Nothing else. Okay, hold on a second. We have, uh, we got some few chats going on, chatters going on right now. The Ender from Denmark. He says something about September 10th. Okay, so Ender says September 10th. You guys are going back to normal in Denmark. You know what? I, I don't know why September 10th. Okay, why not today? Hold on. Okay, we have, check out the video on first line, okay. Okay, we have the first line videos and also we got the uh, whole lot of love about the Bianca. Yeah, people are talk, still talking about the, the Mark did a video on Bianca versus the Prophet Tech 700. I know you are somewhat biased from, I think you're somewhat biased from Mark, but you know what, just, just look at the video and you just look at the, not his commentary, but just looking at the, the, the future of a different machine, okay? And then, but, okay, hold on a second here. Okay, okay. Melvin made uh, Java Gym, he was on fire, okay? I think it's, yeah, Java Gym from First Line. He's an interesting 
person. Uh, he hates third wave water. So, yes. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. We have Star Farm. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, we have the day. Yeah, Prophet Tech spec, spec for spec. Uh, he believes that it's a better machine. Once you're spending over $3,000, guys, uh, I mean, it comes to the functionality, the putting the shot, pretty much the across the board, about the same, I think. But comes to big quality, you have some slight difference there as well. You know, some of them better than others, you know, some things, but comes to, again, I mean, Bianca, ECM, Rocket, I mean, those machines are, they are fantastic. I mean, they are great. And so we're not buying, you know, some entry level coffee machine. So by that time, you know, which one you like, you, which style you guys like, you know, is it better fit into your lifestyle? So it all depends. Okay. I think we are pretty good this morning. Okay. We are pretty good this morning and okay. We got, uh, I think Lance did a video on that, right? This morning, Hans. I think the uh, Lance uh, Hendrickson, he's another the YouTuber. Uh, he did a video on kind of like modifying the Gaza Classic Pro. I mean, Gaza Classic Pro, you can do a lot of modification. They're really easy. You can uh, adjust the the flow, not the flow control, or over pressure valve, really easy. Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, again, they're they're really good. Uh, Lawrence asked me about have a consider getting uh, consider design. Uh, decent espresso machine, man, you know, uh, if you, you guys like the tweaking things, adjusting it, decent is wonderful. I mean, you can adjust everything on that. Uh, every aspect of coffee, you can adjust it. They're wonderful. Imagine has a coffee machine with a big iPad on it. It's great. But I guess I like the, the manual uh, aspects of making coffee. That's why the next motion is going to be like E61 group head with uh, rotary. I like to get the rotary pump, okay? All, so all the motion, I like coffee motion under like 15 or 2000. Everybody use a vibrator pump, okay? A vibrator pump means, hold on, maybe I can show you guys if you haven't seen it yet. Doesn't matter if you are using a $500 coffee machine or even a rocket apartmental, they all use this pump, vibrator pump. Okay, so that's it. So with the rotary pump, it's a lot more quieter. Also, you can plumb it if you want to. Vibrator pump, you cannot plumb it. So again, all the same. $500 machine up to $15 or $1,600 machine. All they use the same company too. Pretty much the same brand. So that's another thing I like about entry level machine like this. You can replace the pump pretty inexpensive. You can get one for like $25, $30 on the open market. So again, it's kind of pros and cons for both. So that's another reason we're trying to get the, a higher machine to compare with our entry level machine. If uh, quality is about this much difference in quality, you know, or this much difference, we don't know. So that, that's what I love to find out. Okay, I think we are, uh, we got Hans. Okay, another super chat. He said, life is good, but not without coffee. Let's get the R59. Okay, Hans wants to see R59. So here's what we're gonna do. When times come, uh, I'm going to ask you guys, okay? I'm gonna ask you guys which machine you guys wanna see. I'm gonna give you like top four, okay? And then let's pick one. And then let's go from there because I know quite a few of you have a Bianca. Okay. So actually I don't mind looking at Bianca either, but, and uh, Melvin is mentioned about, uh, he heading to local supplier to soon test R9, R9, is that R9? Man, <laughs> you cannot keep track of it. There are so many great machines out there. So, because I, I was even thinking about even uh, La Marzacco GS3, okay? But GS3 is like, okay, you, you think those motions are pricey? Imagine you gotta double it, okay? You double that. So you are looking at what? $6,000, $7,000 for coffee machine. So uh, we got the, another super sticker from uh, Lawrence Fung from Singapore. 
So we are getting close, guys. Okay, we might hit seven hundred dollars soon. But uh, so uh, back to earlier, you have a couple ways to support our channel. Okay, uh, definitely use the all the the my link there from Amazon link. Make sure to buy from that. I got a tiny commissions and also uh, I'm affiliate with the fellow products. You guys got to make sure you use the Hun 10 code. You guys get a 10% off. I got a tiny commission as well. So, so that's kind of like kind of indirectly help the channel and directly super chat, super sticker. Definitely that's huge. Okay. Plus PayPal as well. So I mean that, that's the because I want to be very selective about the, uh, our next coffee machine to get because once I have that, that's kind of like people say it's called end game coffee machine. End game means that that's the kind of like final destination to comes to coffee machine. So, I mean, I do want to spend some time, spend time with you guys to pick out the machine that, you know, you guys, you know, you guys like to see. Okay. But someone asked me when you ever want to get rid of your, your Bravo breast preset machine. I don't think so. So this is the where I start our coffee journey so so that one stays but uh i'm i'm trying to get rid of my rancheria Silvia right now okay so if you guys are looking for uh, upgrading to rancheria Silvia or gaza classic pro from bravo brisa express uh, my answer is no do, do not upgrade to gaza uh, rancheria Silvia. it's not an upgrade it's more like lateral move so i mean don't get me wrong they are fantastic but if you guys like the espresso, you're gonna get a much better result from Gaza, uh, Gaza Classic Pro Rancheria Silver that uh, Silvia that uh, Bravo Brista Express. Okay, but if you guys love uh, milk-based drinks, you know what Bravo Brista Pro or uh, Express is a better purchase, for my opinion. Though, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But okay, so again, so my budget is between. Kind of like two thousand twenty-five to thirty-five hundred dollar range there. It all depends on the. I, I'm gonna. I'm trying to get another sponsor from some coffee outlet, so they can you know give us another kind of like you know help, help us out as well. But again, because I want to be realistic in our channel, because I don't want to get something ridiculous coffee machine that you know, it's not even reachable for most of you. I mean, most of you. I mean, goodness, can you imagine spending three grand? We are talking just the three grand on the just coffee machine. I'm not even counting a uh, coffee grinder. Coffee grinder is also, you gotta really take a good look at that as well. So it's, it's really expensive. So you are looking at not 3,000, it's $4,000. That's not even including the, you know, other tools either. So just make sure this is what you, you, you know, what you want to spend money on. If you guys like just like make just coffee in the morning, don't bother, okay? But obviously, if you guys are watching this channel right now, which means you guys like coffee and more, so yeah, maybe, okay? But I mean, if you if this motion is hard for you to dial in, if you guys are having a hard time with it, uh, you guys want to upgrade to the next machine, it's not gonna get any better, okay? It might be a little easier dialing process. But having a separate grinder definitely easier, but not too much though. Let's see. I'm looking at your questions here or comments. Uh, we got Spister. Okay, we got Spister is another uh, coffee outlet. I mean, the coffee company that makes this customized espresso machine. I think the base. I think their base uh, model is what? Uh, don't they use a slayer for that, guys? For the Spister. Okay, Dane is talking about the Lagwon P100. Okay, so again, that comes to grinder. You could spend the blade grinder for 10 or 15 bucks, or you can go all the way up to 3,500 bucks on the Weber uh, grinder. And then we have all between. So the price range is pretty wide, okay? Let's see here. Yeah, but again, the option of the P100 is pretty slick. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, Ender's mentioned about the Ender works at a coffee shop, so they are getting a new coffee machine. So I wonder what kind of machine they're gonna get. 
Uh, Hans talking about the P100 from Lagwan. Yeah, that's pretty slick. Okay. I think a Lagwan comes with a what, 93 millimeter flat burr or 94 millimeter, huge. So, uh, anyway, I hope you guys like uh, this morning session. Uh, tomorrow morning is going to be big, okay? It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure do not miss out. It's going to be, we're going, we are going to compare head to head with Commandante versus uh, J Max from Easy Presso. It's going to be epic. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning. I think we are, this is too early, so. Uh, I'm gonna jump into Instagram right now and then show us your coffee bar setup this morning, okay? If you can. And then I'm gonna, if not, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning.